Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the, on Earth. It really is nature's fuel. Fuel cell technology is, is evolving. Uh, the technology is improving constantly. We're competing in a market that we have to compete with batteries and generators. And how do we do this? I think hydrogen has great potential to become one of our primary fuels for the transportation industry uh, in the future. I would much rather drive my fuel cell vehicle than my gasoline vehicle. Hydrogen is nature's fuel. It can be made where you want, when you want. Imagine living in a world without concerns about energy security or pollution, where you can get all the energy you need from domestic sources. And over about the last 15 years, automakers have been working very hard to develop the technology for automobiles as a way of simultaneously reducing the use of oil, uh, reducing air pollution, and also reducing the release of greenhouse gases. Currently, we produce in the world over 50 million tons of hydrogen with about a fifth of that being consumed in the United States. That hydrogen is being used primarily as a feedstock for making agricultural products such as fertilizer. If you look down the road in the hydrogen economy, some of those uses are for transportation, such as forklifts in a warehouse, or even putting electricity onto the grid. We believe that the ultimate energy source in this world is going to be hydrogen. Hydrogen is interesting. It can be made a lot of different ways. There's a lot of domestic resources that can be used to make hydrogen. Any source of electricity can be used to make hydrogen from water. Hydrogen can also be made through a lot of biomass pathways. And right now it's made a lot from natural gas, which is not ultimately sustainable, but it's sort of a bridge technology to potentially getting to cleaner sources of hydrogen in the future. To get hydrogen from water, we can use electricity to break the chemical bonds between oxygen and hydrogen. This process is called electrolysis. Most of the hydrogen we have today comes from natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming. Hydrogen generation can happen through a, a number of different routes. The easiest route would have us making electricity and then using that electricity to run an electrolyzer which would split water uh, electrochemically. Solar typically only works when the sun is up. Wind only works when the wind is blowing. The sun goes down, then you have to make up all that solar power with other sources. Or if the, the wind is blowing and suddenly it stops, it causes instabilities. I need that power whenever there's a demand. The ability to store power is key to large-scale deployment because it removes that instability. In the same way hydrogen stores the energy from the sun and wind, we can use hydrogen to store the energy in moving water. You capture solar, wind, wave, geothermal power, and electrolyze water to produce hydrogen. In the end, it always wakes up and comes back to itself. And when you're ready to wake up, you're going to wake up. And if you're not ready, you're going to stay pretending that you're just a little, poor little me. And uh, since you're all here, I assume that you're all on the process of waking up or else you're teasing yourself with some kind of <laughs> flirtation of waking up, which you're not serious about. But I assume maybe you are not serious but sincere, that you are ready to wake up. You are ready to wake up.